Welcome back to another edition of Electric TV, the source for electrical industry construction news, information, and entertainment. I'm your host, Dominic Giratano. The Chevrolet Cruze, the world's best-selling compact car, comes in a variety of colors. Blue Ray, Red Hot, Autumn Bronze, and also Rainforest Green, among others. But to General Motors, being green means much, much more than just a paint color. How much? Well, GM has been recognized as the greenest manufacturer, according to the Solar Energy Industries Association. Its newest carbon cutting initiative just went online. So let's head out to Ohio and check it out. The GM Lordstown Complex, named after the Ohio town where it exists, has been in operation since 1966. At over 15 million cars, this facility is among the highest volume single line vehicle assembly facilities in the world, with 6 million square feet of space. Today, it's home to the world's best selling compact car, the Chevy Cruze. But it's what's built outside the gates that brought us to this small town on the Ohio-Pennsylvania border. This, the largest solar array for GM in the Western Hemisphere. We have 8,550 panels here. It covers about 6.5 acres and uh, it'll generate about 2.5 million uh, kilowatt hours a year. It's uh, the equivalent of taking 360 cars uh, a year off the road or about 247 households in terms of their electricity use. The solar array was under the watchful eye of NECA contractor Dickey Electric, and it was installed by IBEW Local 573, Craftsmen and Women. It was a very tight timeline. They talked about this project for three years and trying to get a, a supplier to do this project. And once they did, it began approximately November the 1st and gave us two months. They wanted it completed before the first of the year. So we worked six and seven days a week out here, 10 hours a day, braving the cold, near zero temps the past month or so. There's over 8,000 panels here. Those 8,000 panels aren't laying on the ground. Uh, those 8,000 panels have metal all through them. They're connected to a steel structure that's driven down in the ground. So that steel structure, all of those components, all those things need to be tied together so that the potential to ground is correct that we're not making sure that we're not getting anybody hurt. In Ohio, the weather isn't always the best for solar, but the power of the sun is still as strong here as it is anywhere in America. Some of the snow cover, it does affect it, but uh, as long as the sun's shining, uh, they're, making, they're making power. They're able to capture even, even the light that we have in northeastern Ohio, which has a lot of cloudy days, but even the technology, we're able to generate that energy, we're able to get that green energy and be able to put it back into a plant like this. But that's not the only green leaning project here at the plant. More than 6,500 high bay lights inside the facility were replaced with these, smaller, slimmer, and more energy efficient LEDs. They're all connected to a wireless control system that can be dimmed on demand, saving an estimated 84% on lighting costs. That too was installed by this same NECA IBEW team. NECA IBW, we're able to get the training, we're able to get quality trained electricians. All we have to sell is, is our quality and our craftsmanship. We do a good job here, it shows. The IBEW guys did a phenomenal job, they, uh, they did everything we asked of them. Dickey Electric guys did great, I mean they were fantastic to work with, uh, very professional, very skilled, and uh, they helped us deliver on our promise and commitment to General Motors. In any business, no matter the size or type, saving money while saving energy just makes sense. It takes, however, expertise at the hands of those completing the work, namely the NECA IBEW team, the men and women who have for years have been responsible for ensuring that there's free-flowing power that makes American cars continue to come off the line at GM Lordstown. That'll do it for this edition. Thanks for the click. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter for behind-the-scenes extras and industry information. We'll see you next time.